Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to another month of 10 on the 10th. This is September, believe it or not. This is where we make 10 Christmas cards, more or less, every month, so we can be caught up with the holidays and not be rushing, rushing, rushing to get things out. This month, I'm going to be using the November 2019 she of card sketch from Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl. If you would like to see my videos that I made for that time frame, I will put that at the end of this video. And as always, everyone's links that in, is in this collaboration, hosted by Kim of Metal Scrap and Chick, by the way, is down in my description box, so make sure to watch them too. I was super happy to be able to use my gingerbread and peppermint paper from Stampin' Up! that I got in a recent order. It just looks wonderful. And I used my Bigs die. It's got stars, and I don't know what I did with it at the moment, as usual. But it makes four stars different sizes. So I use those to make, try to make them look like little gingerbread cookies. And then I use stickles and gloss white Nouveau drops for the middle. And I used these little acrylic pieces I bought them on Amazon. I mistakenly said Etsy the other day, but these are from Amazon. So let's get started. I'm trying to find the very first one I made because I did pop that up on foam tape. The other ones, yes. This is the very first one, and I did pop it up on foam tape, but then I decided to not. But anyway... I did the uh, gloss white and then I put in the little peppermint drop. I could probably put another one right there. It says a season to be jolly. That is from the Holly Jolly Wishes from Stampin' Up. And my Ruby Slippers Nouveau Drops. And on the inside I put a leftover piece and this little gingerbread star. Now, for this set and for this cutting guide, we're using 12 by 12, but I was able to just cut these down five and a quarter by four, and then the two pieces you have remaining, uh, you can kind of customize it to fit this particular sketch. So this is the first one. The, uh, the inside, it's Christmas time. That is from my October 2017 Hero Arts kit. I had to think about that a minute. But I just took the leftover piece from cutting the 6x6 six six and put that at the bottom. And my two little pieces there. I just went and varied. I was able to cut 10 different because there's so much variety in that uh, ginger, gingerbread and peppermint set. And here I use two. Here's another one with two. This is with the gloss. This one was I don't know if you can see it, but this is with the stickles. I use both. And here's with the stickles. I don't know if you can see that. And another one with the stickles. Gingerbread with icing. Mm, doesn't that look so good? And here's another one with the I actually think I like the gloss white better. What do you think as far as a icing look? And then this one, 
I uh, mistakenly started uh, this back piece here. I started gluing the wrong side. I had intended to use the other side, which is the stripes. So I went ahead and left it the way it was and just made this into a landscape style card. And it worked out fine. This is the stickles. And then, because by this time I couldn't find my... It's Christmas time. Of course, it was right in front of my face, but when your desk is an absolute disaster, it's hard to see anything. So I used this. This is from a Queen and Company set. Merry Christmas to you. And because I had already stamped my cards, it's Christmas time was this way. And so I just, that's why I added the insert. So please make sure to watch the November 2019 sheet letter sketch where I do several videos 10 minutes at a time and that will be posted at the end here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.